Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Welcome back to Saturday Social, where we're joined by Sharky and Spencer. Elite lineup today, yeah. and we're going to talk bottom half of the table, Joe, because we often talk about the top half of the table. It's an exciting mm -hmm. title race, but obviously news this week that Everton have been deducted a further two points. It means that the bottom half of the table is very exciting as well, very close down there. Absolutely, isn't it? it's so close. So we've asked our guests to put together an eleven of players too good to go down. We can see the teams they're allowed to select from here. We've gone fourteen down because there is a mm. nine-point yeah. gap between Palace and Fulham. Palace probably are out of it, but they could get sucked into it, you never yeah. know. So Palace, Brentford, Everton, Forest, Luton, Burnley and Sheffield United, the teams to pick from. Uh, but importantly, there is a rule here. You have to have at least one player from mm. each team. So you can't ignore Sheffield United, you can't ignore Burnley as bad as they've been. You've somehow got to get one of their players into mm. this team. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's start with the keepers. You know the rules now. Who is your too-good-to-go-down goalkeeper? Let's reveal it to the camera. Sharky's gone Jordan Pickford. Trafford. You've got with James Trafford, interesting. Yeah, you've got to remember, this isn't a comparison of their abilities. It's a tactical game to get okay. a player from every club. So he's got to get another Burnley player in there. Mm. I've gone with, with James Trafford. Um, yeah, we'll see. That's smart, yeah. to be fair. It's an interesting one with Trafford, isn't it? Because he obviously so highly rated yeah. and has kind of been displaced recently by Murich in the team, hasn't he? But clearly very highly rated in the England setup yeah. as well. Like Spence said, you've got to get a Burnley now, player in, haven't you? Know, you? He ran, I know he didn't get, he was number one, but when he, he got relegated and no one ever rated him. Yeah, and he's obviously very good with his feet. Trafford's mm. still so young for a goalkeeper as well. Then you've got the more experienced, Jordan mm. Pickford, who's you know, clear England number one, having another good season for Everton. Yeah, for sure. Like, like you just said, England number one, um, I didn't even think that's actually smart to be fair of the tactical because later on when I was thinking of my team I was thinking okay cool how am I going to fit in maybe like a yeah. Sheffield player or a Burnley player um, whereas he just got out of the way straight away and thought you know I have more space for um, other players when I put that in but for me I just thought best keeper in, yeah, that, he's in that list okay so, yeah. well what, what we can do if you want to if you're agreeing he's the better keeper do you want to put Pickford down and then right. we will allow movement because yeah I think you've got to have to allow movement throughout this because we've got to allow movement, got to allow yeah, movement because, because you have to have one got, from each stage yeah, so we don't want to stitch you up yeah, too much so, so. Keep Trafford out to one side because Burnley I think yeah. could be one of the harder teams mm. to yeah. place on this list you know no offence to Sheffield United and Burnley, but some of the players might be more yeah. difficult to squeeze into the 11 than, than a Palace and a Brentford. Mm. Uh, so should we get a right back? Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit of contro controversy yeah, for you here, Spence. I'm going yeah. to work with me on this one, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're yeah. not sure about this one. Because, on. First of all, can I say thank you for doing a section about relegation as a West Ham fan, I do appreciate it. You know, we're very used to that. <laughs> it gives me a chance to talk about my area of expertise. Um, this guy is going to ruffle some feathers, but there's a tactical decision. Okay. He's a secret screw. He's been sent on the mission, I can't put it on the board yet, can I? <laughs> By uh, Sean Dyche. He's, right. he's actually not a Sheffield United player. But I had to get a Sheffield United player in there. Again, right. tactically, he's doing a great job oh of the mission word. that Dyche has set Shark, him, you're, you're, sent off on his day. I mean, I've gone for a teammate of his who's, yeah. who's a lot better, performing a lot better this season. I mean, albeit they've conceded 82 goals, so having a Sheffield United defender probably doesn't tough, mean... Though, yeah. How many yeah. of them were down the left flank? Well, but... <laughs> Why Holgate over uh, Bogle? Just bear in mind, obviously, he was at Southampton, didn't play much in the local. Like... And, no, but I mean, over that. Because well, he's, he's, only, he's, he's, like, he's, a, he's only been there yeah, recently. He's got, we've got Everton and Sheffield. That's what I'm trying he's to understand. He's only been there recently, right? You know, he's, not, he's not been there all season, so he's not like how many games he's played. But also, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a sort of cheat because I didn't okay. really want to put a Sheffield United player in this team. You guys made me, <laughs> so I put one that actually plays for Everton in there. OK, okay let's, let's, But Bogle, Bogle let's talk about Bogle. Is, is, is like... Yeah, so, of course, like I said, they've conceded a lot of goals. So, obviously, I'm not saying, oh, his defensive work's been amazing. Obviously, he plays for a team that has, probably the, that has the weakest defence in the league, but he's been a bit of a bright spark, yep. you know. Uh, going forward, he's been pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, he's been involved in a couple of goals this season for Sheffield United. Um, and he looks like a good player. You know, I don't think... I think I can still see him knocking him out in the Premier League next season. OK. I agree. Yeah, yeah, started 26 of last 27 Premier League games. Most yeah. open play crosses for Sheffield United. So if we're doing a comparison... Yeah, sticky by Bogle edges it, I think. It's a bit boring, but, you know. <laughs> we have to get a Sheffield United player on there somehow, yeah. though, don't we? Let's go to the centre-backs then, because I think we're starting to step up in calibre mm. a little bit in terms yeah. of season Should we see the pairing that you yeah, both see, got? Sure. See the pairing. I'm guessing everybody. there's one player... Yeah. I'd be surprised if... Branthwaite. OK, fair. Interesting. I think mine's a better part. Jared Brantwaite, should we talk about him first? Because mm. it feels like he has had a massive breakout Brilliant. season. Yeah. We're seeing reports of potential moves. He's involved in the England yeah. squad. Yeah. At 21 years old. Also, he only had six talent. Premier League starts prior to this season. And obviously this season's seen, as you said, named in the England squad. Are you surprised he didn't get any minutes in the... Uh, um, not surprised, necessarily, because I think 
sort of in the keeping of the way Southgate does things. But yeah, I do think he's in the conversation, got long term as an England centre back and will get a move, particularly if Everton go down. Even if they don't, I think it's kind yeah, of like the John Stones yeah. emerging storyline. Um, and then again, speaking of England centre backs, you know, this man's. I've got quite a few Palace players in this team, to be fair. I think yeah. they're underperforming, really, you could argue. And uh, I think this is, a, no disrespect, a better partnership than yours. And I think. Whilst Pickford's a better keeper, yeah. my Trafford shout allowed me to have okay. another yeah, Everton yeah, yeah, player yeah, in there. Just that, out of those, so you've got, sorry, you've got two England centre backs there. Do, which two, which one or either or neither do you think will go this summer? Do you think um, one of them goes? I think probably Gray will go over Bramthwaite if it's between these two, just because he's had more time with the England camp and Southgate does yeah. tend to pick on minutes around the guys, doesn't he? Okay. I'll I'd, I'd, I'd take, I mean, I'll try and take both, but I'll favour Bramford just because of that left-sided uh, uh, centre-back. Mm. I mean, they wouldn't have many of those, yeah. um, if any. I mean, the Euros, obviously, before the World Cup, Tyron Mings was that player. Obviously, mm. he's fallen out of favour. I think Bramford is a top centre-back, plus he brings that you know, that balance out as a left-sided centre-back. So. Yeah, and he's so young as well. Sometimes mm. it's nice yeah. to get like, young players in and, around, in and amongst the squad. I think he's proven as well, last season at PSV, that he can play on the right-hand side as well. He's playing on both, both feet, mm. six foot five. Mm. Yeah. Like, I think it's impossible that he doesn't get put on the plane. But it's, yeah. So you can so put Bramford on the board then. Yeah. Bramford there. So there. The thing is, what now we have a bit of a problem, you know. So we either put Sadara Shah put in as well, because okay. um, I needed a Burnley pick. I didn't think tactically like spend it and use it up in the goalkeeper. So I needed one you and swap um, then you want to go, go Gray in Trafford? You could put Trafford yeah, put Trafford yeah? in goal, put Gray here there. But so now oh. you've got your almost your team. Well, you but, there we go. But he's actually been pretty impressive from the centre back. Mm. He's got four assists and two goals this season from centre backs insane. Yeah, I mean Yeah most assists major. for a centre back uh, yeah, in the fair. Premier League in this season Premier League. to be fair. Yeah. 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 Four assists. Uh, another potential name that want to just quickly speak about him, Mario at mm. Forest, who's looked really yeah. impressive, but you've got Forest players coming up yeah. in the attacking areas, haven't you, Boris? I, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're They're very, very lot, Forest have a thick squad, you know, yeah. so yeah. there's okay. loads of players to pick from. Left-backs. OK, then. Next up. Alfie Doughty. Yeah, I mean, he's been, from a FPL standpoint, yeah. Doughty, a lot of people looking at him. Mitchell probably gone a little bit more previous years as well. Like I think he's been a good left back for a few years. Yeah. He's still got more promise to come, but um I don't mind that shout at all. Yeah. Seven Premier League assists this season from Unbe left back for Luton. Just... Um, unbelievable. Um a player that was obviously unknown, like an unknown entity this season, going into the season and he's getting a lot of fans, a lot of support. Um mm. especially yeah with with those fancy kind of games where people he's getting a lot of numbers, got a lot of returns. Uh, and I think it's been pretty impressive and Luton to be fair have surprised all of us. Yeah. You know, mm. Everyone expected them to be to go straight back down. They got, you know, they literally were a non-league team, and you know, I mean, hashtag we we'll look at a team like Luton. And yeah, yeah, the journey's unreal. And now they're in the Premier League, and they're, mm. you know, outperforming what everyone thought they would. Albeit they're still in the relegation race, but a relegation battle. But he's one of the players that I think. Has Thirty-eight given chances fun. created from set pieces, the joint most of any player in the Premier League, and most open play crosses of any player in the Premier League this season. And he said seven Premier his League journey's assists just from that no, right back as well. Rainer. It's been incredible. Unbelievable. Doubt it. Yeah. Like Fantastic player. Uh, let's go into the midfield. I think maybe let's get your midfield three yeah. out because I wow. think it's quite difficult this in wow. terms of how you've laid it out. So I think one of you's got a player in a different position to the other. Mm. Yeah. These guys could play for Arsenal, mate. You, what, you, Sharky's very impressed with his own selection here, but yeah. like, he's just saying, wow. One of, the, he's just saying, one of these players could play for Arsenal. They, okay. they all could. Interesting. All oh, could I had O'Neill in, in, yeah. in an early draft, but I took him out because I needed a Forest player. OK. Gone with these three. So you've dropped Elise into a more midfield role. Yeah. Okay. You've got okay. Ross Barkley, Gibbs White and Elise. So we've got some agreement on two of them, Barkley and Elise. Let's start with Ross Barkley then. I think they're all good. Did any shouts. predict the Ross Barkley remontada mm. this season? What a comeback, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, nice, you know. Not really. Obviously, he went to France first, didn't he? Yeah. Played for Nice and he yeah. got a bit of game time. And I think he needed it. But I think he's returned with a little bit of a bit between his teeth to remind people what he can do. Could he get on the plane? Is it possible? I think under other managers, what maybe. Do you think? I, think, I think he won't because I don't think Southgate picks only on form. I think he has a lot of long-term sort of trajectory of his squads. Yeah. But um, I think you could argue that he deserves a shout. Yeah. Do you yeah. agree? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think he'll go. And I think if I was picking a squad, maybe he would just miss out. But he'd definitely be thought about for me. Yeah, for I sure. mean, his ball carrying and stuff, yeah, in midfield, being able to pick it out from the back line and, like, 
carry it forward. It's just been one of the best in the league. Like, and he's also, so good to watch, Ross Barkley. You spoke yeah, earlier about absolutely. players that are so important for their team. I think exactly. if you took Ross Barkley out of that Luton team, yeah. you'd, you'd see a completely different team because he, he's, he's so good on the ball. Let's get Ross right Barkley up then. I think there's some really good shouts here, actually, from, from all of you, some yeah. very tiny players. You've well. both got Morgan yeah. Gibbs White. Uh, another, another player that Joe and I have spoken about a lot on this show, yeah. big fans of. What, what do you think his level is? Because I remember when Morgan Gibbs White, the signing was made for, was a lot of yeah. people were very... T talking yeah. a lot about it being a high price fee, and I, we've said straight away we didn't think it was because of the ceiling that he had. But what sort of level do you think he, he could play at? Yeah, I think he did turn some heads with that move. I think knowing what we know now about Wolves and their sort of financial fair play situation, that there was a no-brainer when they got that sort of offer to let him go, especially as a, someone that you know didn't cost him a lot coming in. It's a good way of getting your balance sheet up. But I don't think they would have been happy about letting him go. Mm. And I think uh, it was quite an astute buy from. For us, a little bit under the radar. Mm. I think it's well, hammered at the time, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. again, because because he was under the radar, right? Because people hadn't seen enough of him, really. And I think also of his England under twenty one performances in the summer as well. Like I think, uh, yeah, good point. He's got a good chance of, of you know, Forrest were to go down or anything, getting another move and. Mm. Um, and Definitely. I mean, he's been linked to some big clubs like Spurs. Yeah. Interested in him, isn't it? I think that his ability in and around the box, like to watch Morgan Gibbs White, is technically excellent. So fun to yeah. watch, isn't he? With his dribbling. I could see him playing for yeah, a lot of a lot of teams, a lot higher than what Nottingham Forest are. Yeah. I think those teams are in the like the top eight. Yeah. Outside the top four, I could see him playing for any of them. Really. Yeah, even yeah. abroad. I think there'll be a lot of like yeah. Italian and Spanish teams that are interested in Morgan Gibbs White. Definitely, yeah. On the ball. Yeah. Uh, then the other midfielder, it's tough here. Because you've got Elise as well, haven't I've you? I've got Elise right, as well. Slightly different in players. His, in this position, not a right wing. Yeah, so I was going to say, if you've both got Elise, if we've both got, I've got other players obviously coming in from Palace, but if we've both got him, we can talk about him later. I had Anan in an original draft as well. I just felt the three I went with in here, again, as well as the three I've gone with further forward. I'm interested to know who you put a right wing if you put Elise in midfield. Well, I'm pretty sure the guy I've got from Palace plays there as well. We'll see. I think he can play midfield more than Elise can. Well, we can swap him. But then, OK, okay I think we know, then I think, I, I think we know who... Oh, I, don't, no, I do have him. I have him. <laughs> no, they're talking about I have him as well, but I have him, I have him on the other wing. Didn't OK. Yeah. Let's talk about Onana, though, before we get on to mm. the Palace boys, because he's also being linked with Arsenal. He's being linked with Man United, yep. Barcelona. Some massive clubs this season. There's a lot, yeah. I mean... Mm. West Ham were in for him before he went to Everton. Yeah, of, a bit of course. Not to and get. he went to Everton for a big, big old fee from Lille, didn't he? And he was... Very highly rated coming out of France he's too. A, he's, he's a good player. He's, 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 I think if you're going off this season, I go he's not so much of an attacking player, but I would have maybe gone to Corre over Anana because I think you? he's been one of the main assets really for Everton, certainly in the first half of the Definitely season. Definitely the first half. And then yeah. when they needed goals, he was stepping up with them. That, that spell where they first had the points deduction, but then they yeah. went and got a load of wins and Dyche was like, OK, might get, get him out of it. Yeah. Decore is pretty key, but I think you could argue for either of them, for sure. Yeah. It I'm feels like Onana's going to be the guy who gets the big move, though, alongside that's, Brown. That's, yeah, I'm happy for Onana's coming. Cash it. OK, yeah, so Spence is happy to put Onana in you there. Can you can sing, sing. You, you, sing you had him singing, didn't you, Smith? Yeah, I did have him singing on a feature we did. That song, yeah. Yeah, Tried to see that. So now let's talk about it. Nice balance. balance. Let's talk about Eze like on the right now. Because yeah. Spencer was talking about him potentially being a, a midfielder. Yeah. I presume you wanted to play Eze out there as well. Yeah, you? this is the thing. I've, I've got Eze as well. So I, I, you know, I think they're both very yeah. talented, interchangeable players. So I think that. You know, if you've got Eze as well and you've got Eze and Elise... I can't not. It's just a question of who you haven't got of the other two I've got and I think it will probably be... Yeah, reveal it, why not? I think it'll probably be you haven't got this man, right? Yeah, he just yeah. missed that, unfortunately. Anthony Alanga. Anthony Alanga. Alanga. I think I was probably going for... Not necessarily at all, but I was probably going for a bit of balance and getting some more players in, so I went with another yep. Forest player. He, he, he'd never been a bit of an FPL bandit this year as well. Alanga looked after me when I had him in early, got a lot of assists. Um, for Forrest. So, listen, I don't think there's a wrong answer here. I think you can go with either one, but I definitely think these two need to be in the team. Yeah. yeah. I think Langer's a good shout. Joint most Premier League goal involvements and most assists for Forrest this season. With the Lise, he's only played 28% of Crystal Palace's Premier League minutes this season. Obviously, injuries have been... It's but when he plays... Shame, but yeah, it's a great point. When he does play... Uh, when he does play, it's a, it's a fantastic point, actually, because he's got 86 minutes per goal involvement in the Premier League. Wow. Only three players have a better minutes per goal involvement in the Premier League this season. Cole Palmer, Mo Salah and Kevin De Bruyne. So, that is the debate about at least, hasn't he? When he yeah. plays, he's brilliant. Well, if he played more, these two... It's a shame about the injuries. Is, is that factored into this? They would be higher in the league if these guys yeah. have been playing every game, for sure. Definitely. And I think, yeah. you know, this is the first time when Zaha moved on, the, it was always like, what are they going to do in Zaha yeah. leagues? Particularly, they, they haven't had a focal point striker for a long time. Where are the goals going to come from? And when these two started coming through as genuine goal threats from different areas of the pitch, I was like, OK, they can survive without Zaha now. And the only problem is when they don't play. 
Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. duo. And they both came from the championship as well. Yeah, both yeah. like, you know, QPR and Reading, was it? And, you know, yeah. and they've come to the Premier League and it's been, it's looked kind of easy sometimes. Some of the goals, I see Eze just dribbling through the middle of the pitch yeah, and passing it in the goal. Oh, just glides, didn't he? Yeah, I see Elise yeah. cutting in and putting the top ins and scoring yeah. free kicks. And, and, you know, so it's like, these two are very impressive. And Elise's I think got a buyout clause that comes out this summer, mm. according to reports. Where do you think mm. he could end up? You can go you know, if that buyout clause is, is a bit cheaper, because we realistically would mm. see him being like a 70 odd million pound player. I think Chelsea, was it Chelsea Palace that were Chelsea having a link with him? Yeah. Him, weren't they they got and Palmer in the end. They got Palmer in yeah, the end. Yeah, and not, the not a bad shout. I, but I could see him at like a PSG or something. Really? Can you? Yeah. You can go anywhere he wants. Yeah. Because yeah, of the French angle as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you both want both of them in. Alanga. Also, can go. So it's like this is out of Elise and Alanga. And Alanga's Alanga. had an unbelievable season. So you put an Eze in both of you. Should we put Eze on? Put Eze on the left. Then. Let's put, put Eze on the left. You, you both got Eze. There, but you can also play as a tank. Think a lot of drifting people inside. Look. Yeah. And then, who do you want? Elise? Or I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. I think um, for me, he's more important. Yeah. Given you both had Elise in the side, probably stick Elise. Yeah. Stick Elise up. Alanga just missing out. I'm Alex assuming is. we've got the same striker, but we'll have a, to, surely. We've got to have a Brentford here. player, because you haven't had a Brentford haven't player, got a Brentford player yeah. so. The only team you haven't There's got actually a couple. We've got one of every one yeah. ones. Yeah, we've got, yeah. we just need Brentford. Now. If you were going off this season, you, ne you wouldn't necessarily go with the man from Brentford that we've got, but it's a no-brainer, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's obviously yeah. Ivan. Ivan. He's gone for Ivan, who, yeah, like you said, is banned for the start of the season, but mm. come back, he still looked effective immediately, yeah. hasn't he? Despite the fact he didn't have a pre-season, has come in fairly cold. Like his hold up play, his link up yeah. play. I Score for England, I thought for England, for England as well. You know, the debate between him and Watkins has kind of raged on, hasn't mm. it? I thought for England in that small sample size, he actually looked mm. almost a little bit better than Watkins, even though Watkins had a better season than him. Yeah, I think that comes down to what sort of football Gareth wants to play. If Harry Kane's not available, does he want to go like for like or does he want to have plan B that can come off the bench? Mm. The reality is the likelihood of him subbing Kane off is very, very low. Yeah. So it's not really a case of a plan B for him. It's poor of what do we do if he's out? And like I said earlier in the show, I think if Kane's out, if he's got the tactical like now to do it, just don't go with another striker and stick Bellingham in there and mix things up a bit. I'd like to see him do that. So second striker for England, maybe not as important as we think it is, but not off this year's performances, obviously. But he's the best striker of the lot by miles. He will probably get a move this summer regardless. Where, would he, where, would he, where do you think he should go? Oh, it's all about how much you have to pay for him, really, because I think he will come at a hefty price tag. Last year of his contract. Yeah, it but... Might be a bit yeah, it might be, I think it'll be a bit cheaper than he could have been. Like, you know, we saw David Raya move in the last year of his contract for around the £30 million mark. To yeah, he'll still be double that, I think. I think he'll still cost double that. Would you pay that? you pay £60 million? Uh, I mean, at West Ham, I'd love him. I don't yeah. think he's going to come to West Ham, but I, I would there absolutely love him. Links, there? there have been links, haven't there? There have yeah. been talk of West Ham being very interesting. I think if we get European football, that's one thing. I think we, he's, that's probably what he wants to move on to. Yeah. And then I think if we're prepared to pay that much for a player, you know, we've not ever spent that money on a player, yeah. if it is a sort of 60 mil plus. Mm. Otherwise, you know, you're looking at the, like, the... Chelsea could still argue that they could use someone up there. Arsenal have been linked with him as well, different kind of option. Mm. Still not really got a talisman striker at the moment, like, in terms of goals. Mm. So he'll go somewhere, I think. But the main thing is, you look at that team, it's never going down, is it? That Any team. changes to that? The it's final strong, team? No, I th I'm, I'm, this is Happy? beautiful. I, th it's funny how these guys are all battling relegation, but I think this team could finish in the top eight. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Reminder, well, they, had, they had to have one player. For yes, the team. Yeah. that was the rules. Shout out to a couple of players not mentioned: Chris Wood, twelve in fourteen, yes. maybe. Um, Easy season. Vissa, I'd like to chuck in Marillo so, at the back as yeah. well. A couple, couple, yeah, Odebert, yeah, and Bemo. And so a couple of other players that we uh, shout out as well.